Yeah, not a bad sunset there. Uh, just before six o'clock in October. It's rather impressive. I like the lights. Uh, the pub I didn't like so much. Uh, very unfriendly. PJ's is like a, going to a factory these days. Uh, it may be because it's the end of the year celebrations with all the uh, footy teams and whatever. It was, sound pretty, it was pretty packed and pretty raucous. So there was no uh, time to speak to the staff. But I, I know the manager doesn't like me, which is not a great experience for me. Uh, he just won't talk to me. And, uh, and I don't know what he's got against me, but uh, it might be political. I've got no idea. Uh, it's all I can figure. Uh, but, um, yeah, very strange. And, uh, and I couldn't even get the attention of the, uh, the backpacker chick they've got uh, serving today. She just ignored me. It'd be a tough job being a manager in a bar like that because you can imagine the crap you have to put up with. I mean, I was there just at the beginning of the shift and uh, they have to go to the wee hours with people who are pissed and uh, pretty over the top. So it's sort of a place where you're not going to get deep conversation. It's, it's a pretty shallow scene all around and uh, it does nothing for me. The major advantage for myself is that they do have um, free copies of the Australian and that's been great because I, I can read the Australian for, for Nick's which I'd never bother buying. I never buy any newspapers anymore. And, um, and I have a, a Guinness that's discounted. So I've heard the cheapest Guinness you're going to get in Australia. So that's the only attraction for me now with that pub. It's a shame because it should be a social occasion going there. But uh, I feel none of that. And uh, I thought I need that at the moment. So it's, it's really not fulfilling its goal for me. So there's the uh, sunset going along. Quite attractive, isn't it? Unfortunately, we've got a whole lot of bloody traffic going that direction. But uh, let's look at the sunset. I think it's a lot nicer than looking at the traffic. Yeah, it's not a bad part of the world, but it's pretty artificial. I mean, what what you get in uh, in this part of Cairns is is very much a transplanted experience. It's a lot of travellers, and that can be good. But uh, Although the ones at the moment are like the footy team mentality and they're just there to have to party amongst themselves and have a great time and that's fine but you know if you're not part of their scene you're basically uh, excluded so it's you just have to put up with them bloody being raucous and you know that's what they do they're loud and if you want a quiet drink I know someone like Steve would hate it no, it's not what he likes in pubs he likes to have a a quiet drink and more of you know so that the English pub type of experience not the Aussie one which is more of a beer barn type experience I think which is a shame but yeah pretty well the uh, that's the end of the day sunset in uh, Cairns in October 2017 yeah the the Australian's actually quite a good paper. I was quite surprised how much content there was. Just the Thursday's edition and, uh, you know, it does say there is a place for, for newspapers, but I don't know how they're going to survive with where really you got the YouTubes of the world happening. I think they're going to have to adapt to that, that model because as the, the population gets older, less and less people are going to buy newspapers. And uh, they're going to be using online sources. So uh, they're trying to get people to migrate to them, but I don't know how successful they are. There might be a radical need to change their business model. Yeah, and I wouldn't want to be walking in their shoes at the moment. I mean, it's a tough haul, journalism. Journalism is really finding it difficult at the moment. Mind you, a lot of it's self-inflicted damage with the, um, with the fake media stuff. And, you know, I saw they the had... Uh, Milo, who's a gay right-wing uh, uh, activist, on uh, Sunrise, which is an Mel, it's a um, an Australian breakfast uh, show. You know, pretty vacuous stuff generally, pretty pretty light to say the least. But even by the light standards of morning TV, 
the, the, the uh, interviewers were terrible. It was David Koch and some blonde chick. I don't know what her name is. I've seen her face on camera many times, but it was embarrassing. You know? They just weren't well briefed. And, and they just did a hatchet job on Milo. And, uh, you know, it's just symptomatic of our media these days. It's pathetic.